Hello and welcome to my course using the Fetch API in JavaScript and ASP.NET Core, where you're going to learn to use the Fetch API in JavaScript to call web API endpoints. So why should you take my course? I've been a professional developer and top-rated trainer since 1986. I'm going to show you real-world concepts, not just language syntax. I'm going to help you break down those complex subjects into easy-to-understand steps. I'm also going to be giving you sample code hands-on labs, and links to other technical references, and answers to any questions you may have on my course material. So please take some time and subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. Hi, my name's Paul Sheriff, and I have a passion for teaching. I've been training for over 35 years. I've written 14 books, hundreds of video training courses, articles, and blog posts. I've been a speaker at major conferences and user groups around the world. I'm a mentor for high school and college students. I've been a software consulting business owner for over 30 years. My contact info is psheriff at pdsa.com or visit my website at www.pdsa.com. This course uses JavaScript. It also uses ASP.NET Core, and you can use version 6, 7, or 8. You may use any web server you like if you're not familiar with these. This course uses Visual Studio 2022, but feel free to use VS Code or any other editor that you wish. I do have another course on this same exact topic that uses Node.js, so check that out on my YouTube channel here. I have many full-length courses on my YouTube channel. C-Sharp Fundamentals, Object-Oriented Programming, Minimal Web API Development, Web API Development Using MVC, Start and Run a Successful Business, and lots more coming please subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. So who should take this course? Well, any JavaScript developer who needs to call web APIs. Maybe you're still using the XML HTTP request object, and you now want a more promise-based approach to web API calls. Or maybe your QA person needs to understand how to test web API calls, or maybe a development manager that needs to communicate better with their programmers. The objectives for this course are to learn the various objects of the Fetch API. You're going to create a web API server using ASP.NET Core. Then we're going to use that Fetch API to get an array of JSON objects, get a single JSON object, post or insert a JSON object, put or update, and do a delete. We're also going to learn how to handle exceptions and create a CRUD web page to render data after fetching it. And we're going to create a CRUD web page to render data. For this course, I'm going to assume that you're familiar with Web API calls, JavaScript programming, ASP.NET Core, Visual Studio, or VS Code, but no prior knowledge of the Fetch APIs actually needed. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know for this. So I am going to assume you have installed .NET 6, 7, or 8 on your computer. Here are the lessons we're going to do in this course. We're going to do an overview of the Fetch API. We're then going to create a web API server using ASP.NET Core. We're going to use the Fetch API to get data. We're going to handle various response objects. And we're going to look at post, put, and delete data. And finally, we'll create a CRUD web page. I highly recommend that you take the time to do the labs. These are step-by-step -step instructions to solidify your understanding of the topics taught in this course. Labs and sample code are available at pdsa.com slash YouTube. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel. So join me on your journey to learning the Fetch API.